go. All right, so today we're going to do a quick little video here on how to uh, extract some historical data from the uh, Eurotherm Chessel 6100A recorder and bring that data into the review quick chart software. Um, this is going to focus on doing that via the front uh, panel USB port. So uh, we'll go up to our recorder here, I'll pull down our little flap here to have access to our USB port on the right hand side. Uh, we'll want to plug in our USB memory stick. And this particular court recorder, uh, we have to log in as an operator to get to our archive screen. So to do that, we'll just touch on this button in the upper left side of the screen. Uh, user ID, we're going to go to operator. And we touch this key in the lower right hand corner called the root menu key. We'll go to operator again. We want to touch our archive button. We want to archive local. And right now our media type is set up for a USB front. Um, we have other options here. You can do media card or USB 1 or USB 2 if fitted. Um, we're going to focus on the USB front for this particular application. Um, and then we select our archive interval. Um, for this, we're just going to archive the last hour's worth of data. But you'll see here the other options. We have archive last day, last seven days, last 31 days, and there's an archive all. Um, depending on which selection you choose, you know, it may take uh, a little bit longer to archive all the data. Um, so we're just going to do archive last hour. You'll see here our little disk icon is green. That means that archive is in process. And when it's done, we will get a pop-up message that will say that the archive is complete. Let's give it some time here. So we'll see here, archive demand finished. We'll click OK. Now we can remove our thumb drive. Then we're going to come over to our computer here. Plug our thumb drive in. And we want to use the review quick chart software. Um, it's very important to note that um, if you don't have either the review quick chart software or the review software installed, You'll need to do that first. Um, you can't view the archive data without one of these programs. When the recorder records, it records in a protected data format that can only be interp interpreted by either the review quick chart or review software. So if you don't have one of those two softwares installed, you'll have to do that uh, to look at the data. So we've got our review quick chart open. We're going to go to File. We want to do a new quick chart from removal media, um, select our dr archive drive. Um, this computer recognized that as the E drive. Um, here's another option as well. If you just ran a batch on your recorder, you could pull over a specific batch as well. Um, for this particular demonstration, we're not going to do a batch, but we did have one batch earlier that was named test. So if you did do a batch and you wanted to find a particular batch of data to pull over, you click this Find Batches button here, and then your available batches that were run on the recorder will show up in this pick list. So uh, we're just going to do an All, click OK, and there it pulled our data into the chart. So we can see here on the upper right, we had three thermocouples that we logged, and uh, this is a chart here. So uh, from this point on, we can just do a file, and we can do a save as, and you'll see um, it saves it in a .urq file. That's a quick chart extension, so what that means is you can save this and uh, reopen it, but it can only be reopened if you have the review quick chart software on your computer. So um, that's a quick and dirty uh, procedure on how to bring archive data off the recorder and create a chart in the quick chart software. And hope you, hope you found this helpful.